If you could grab one person to replace Dylan Brooks, who would it be? If we kept everybody, BC, Adams, the so whole tra- Zaire, so everybody. So trades are out. It has to be a free agent or just like in, no, a, just in, in an in, ideal in general, world? Okay. Yeah, in, in, in general. who's a, I, yeah, I got a person in my mind that I I, I thought of. I, but, you know. okay, can we take out like superstars? Though? Like, can yeah, we take no, out no, like Katie, yeah, LeBron, yeah, take out the like take those take out, out. Yeah, take yeah. out the superstars. To replace Dylan. Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> I'm, um, joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Is Jalen Brown too much of a superstar? I would say prob- probably. Right now because I, the, the Sixers have just made – Tatum's game just up. So that they they've they've been doubling him up, you know, doubling yeah. him all series. His average has dropped drastically, and Jalen Brown has gotten an avenue to show up. So right. I, think I don't think you can ins- take I don't think you take Jalen out because Jalen's not the best player on his team. That's true. So I think But is you he still keep- a superstar though? Eh. I would say Jalen's a superstar. Okay, but what about okay, what about Mikhail Bridges? <sighs> <laughs> That's mine. That was mine. That was mine. Like I know they tried for that at the trade deadline they with all the they picks. Did, they and did, they, they, they didn't want to give up enough. They couldn't swing it. But mm-hmm. man, Mikael Bridges' games is it's just so smooth, dude. Like he he's one of those people that I look at and I go, you don't do anything necessarily elite. Like right. you don't do necessarily do anything in like the top ten. Mm-hmm. But you don't do anything bad. Like right. you He's are, the, you are well rounded <sighs> everywhere. Like you are good everywhere. Good midi game. Good Everything. around the rim. Can shoot. Can play defense. Long, athletic. I'm like Mikael Bridges checks all the boxes. All the boxes. Stash, and he's not selfish. Stuffer, he's not man. selfish because look at what he did with stars on his team. Yeah. And then they leave, and he's averaging twenty seven a game. Yeah. So yeah, he's just the elite. He's like at the cusp. Like you got a role player. And his cup is just like running over, yeah. like just, just a hair, yeah. and he's just checking all he's a the boxes. Su- he's a super role player. Play defense. Is that a? Can, can we make that a new thing? Like a super role super player. Super role player. And instead, like right below a superstar. Yeah. Um, where does where does uh, Mikael Bridges land in the hierarchy? If he were to come and play for the Grizzlies, where does he land in the hierarchy of the Grizzlies roster? As far as like scoring options. As or just play, as, or just the best players on the team. As far as ranking players for the Grizzlies, where does Mikael Bridges lie? After, okay, so in terms of like a like a just option? ranking, yeah, yeah, just like where is he at? I'm giving him. I mean, you got to toss him up there with. I almost want to go too. Yeah, I, I'm putting him before Bane. Oh, uh-huh. just Bane, but okay, over Jaren too. That's what I'm. Th- yeah, that's what yeah. I'm, th- I'm thinking. I'm, I'm putting like, him over Jaren and Bane. I think I y'all tripping. I think How? I think I might be there, man. Mikhail is nasty. Y'all tripping, bro. How? Bro can play <laughs> seven foot unicorn that's a defensive player of the year. Come on. That can off. stretch the floor, that can do everything. I, I get on. that. I get that. But Mikhail just consistent. Yeah. We 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 watching the grid sometimes and we we gotta grab our binoculars to look for Jaren sometimes. We we gotta look for Triple J sometimes. Mikhail's showing up regardless. Hey, as a former big man, you should know that's the guard's fault. That's why you got to look for Jaron sometimes. I'm saying they don't get I, on the ball. I, they don't, but he's still very. I, I get he's very young. What is this? Year three, four, 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 four or five, four, right? Four or five, yeah. four or five. The the young, the too young, and the too small. They got to go out the window because <laughs> yeah. they they were trying to hit us with that. Oh, he got to develop. He yeah. got to. You five years in, bro. You got to know what you got going on. Yeah. He just won Defensive Player of the Year. He's he's good. He's, I think Will's talking like o- offensive consistency. Yeah, off, uh, yes, offensive. Yes. I hear you. Yeah, as far as scoring options, if Mikael was on the team, I'd say he's two. I would See? say you give him that green light. Over Bain, too. Yes, over, yeah. ba- over, over Bain, Bain, too. And and Bain can scorch at times. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, one, one of the best three-point shooters in the league, but Mikael has a more developed offensive game, I think. Yeah. And Desmond's getting – like, we saw Desmond mm-hmm. take steps forward this year with his ability to, to score around the right, rim right, and right. stuff, but Mikael is just – Silk, dude. Like he's so smooth. He's smooth, like peanut butter, baby. 